Now, the second way of using display business rule is, okay, this is one symbol, one thing. Second way is, okay, G scratch pad. Okay, G scratch pad, scratch pad, okay, is a, just to give me one second, I need to get the syntax of it, not syntax, but the exact scratch pad. If it is wrong, no, it won't execute. It takes out time. So G scratch pad. Then give anything, the variable. Okay, I'll take one variable name. Okay, that is called. Okay, ABC or escape X. Okay, so I'm just uh, using G scratch pad. I'm writing something. This is a variable now. I am keeping one value to this. Okay, same thing. Okay, SKFX is good channel for service now job aspirants. Okay, is it true or false? <laughs> okay, maybe diplomatic question. Sub bracket. Bracket. What is bracket? No, nothing down to it. No, it is string. No, I'm passing a string. No, no, I was saying something else, but no worries. Oh, okay. So, see here, now in display business tool, I written something using this scratch pad. Okay. This, this particular one which I written now is, will be acted as a global variable. Okay. So, from now onwards, wherever you call this one from client side, this value will be applied to that. Okay. Now, we, we have this particular when I saved it, right? When I saved it, okay, you have one line in this one and this is the one. Okay, now go to this particular table where you have it. This is the table. Refresh it. Do you see something is working, running now? Nothing. The display business rule is running, but you didn't see anything here, right? Because this is nothing like you just defined a global variable with some value. Okay. How you use this one? This is in server side now. Okay, this is in server side. How you use it from client side? So go to incident table and then create a client script. I am writing a client script here. Okay, just to give me one minute, it is very easy. Okay, once you run that client script, then you will understand it. Scratch. Okay, this calling this scratch pad. So uh, anything is fine. You can take on chain to see more times. Okay, uh, isolated script and all. We don't want to touch it. Okay, here how I am calling that one is okay. Alert. This scratch pad. The same thing. You you are calling the entire thing. Okay, so this is how you call it from client side. Okay, so now whenever you this, what is the meaning of this particular client script? Ma? Whenever you are changing this particular field called active, the script will run, and the script what you are calling is the global variable which you defined in the client server side in business tool, display business tool. Agree? Yes, no? Yeah. Okay, now see the results. Yeah, so now see the results. So, I am just changing it. On change client script, it is calling the display business tool. Display business tool, G scratch pad variable, okay, global variable. This is the value it have it. Okay. Okay, this is again different one. There is another main one. Okay, now, now I am doing it again. So, every time the client script is running, the G scratch pad variable is being called. It's a global variable and the value is passing there. Understood? Yes, no? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So this is such a simple. Now, what is this scratch pad? Okay. And what is this one? This scratch pad is a one of the way one it will allow you. So there are three ways we, we seen yesterday. Well, how many ways you can call server side data from client side? One is get reference. Second is okay. Uh, script include. And third one is display business rule using this scratch pad. Here you can keep something and then use this value in client side. 
Okay, what you can keep here? You can keep anything. So you write 100 lines of code and just finally you keep the output in here. Can we do the same thing which we did in display business like some time back we did, we did no? So Vishnu, Vishnu suggested it. Right? I want to get all the users who have like I want to get the groups and then I use it in something client script. So using display business rule also you can write it same like script include and output you can keep it in here and use this one in client side. Yesterday code also you can copy like this. Right? Yesterday we got all the user parameters, right? You got it, ma? Yes or no? We like the output of that particular script include written equal to first name colon last name colon everything you got it. So that value you can keep it here and then you use that client script to divide it and then set it. Agree? This is also okay alternative of script include okay where it gives you the server side data so what if i say okay here okay if i say return okay so i will say gr something what i will push here okay maybe whatever the group c side is i will push here okay i will put an alert and then so what i will keep an array and then push all of them and then keep it in return okay and that value i can keep okay instead of this one i can say like this also right g scratch pad Okay, if I say now instead of return, if I say this one, okay, and instead of this one, I will say contributor. So what contributor will get you, ma? Let's say I took one variable here and I am pushing the contributor values in that and then I am keeping that value in SKFX. What value it will give? All the groups said it will give, right? Roles or groups, whatever it is. The same example what we seen in PA utility, ma? Yes. Right. So you get the data. You keep the data here. Okay. Let's see. Let's execute this one. So maybe this is the simplest way to do. Okay. So instead of doing this one, uh, uncomment it. Okay. I am running only for if one time. Okay. And skfax equal to okay gr dot. Uh, skfax equal to gr dot. What we are printing ma? Gr one dot. Group na group. Get display name okay whatever he is the member of okay i am printing that particular value in skfx so print that skfx what you will get it so the skfx global variable which is defined in which is defined in display business tool we are calling here and i am printing that value here so now see okay so on change client script undefined very good this is okay first one is a group but it is saying undefined gr1 group get display name get display value huh? display, display value display name. value very good so i'm printing the test case facts very good even why you need this one it is also loading huh? we didn't come uncommented it huh? just give me a minute the, the display business tool is running that's for sure because i can see this one okay now going into loop and then getting that and then assigning to that sk fax that we are specifically checking now right you seen it ma how this value is coming yes on, on, yeah, on change of this client script okay on change of this client script it is working every time you will change this one it is working and here you are just keeping a value sk fax the sk fax is a global variable which is defined in this scratch pad and this scratch pad you assign this value the output of it okay let me see if i say while what it will give okay i'm having little confusion so it is having let me see If it don't work, don't ask me why, please. Even I don't know, I need to work on it. Nothing. Okay, one. So, okay, give me one second. Fine. So, it given me second one. Okay. So, it is taking only one only. So, maybe I can do one thing just to give me one minute. 
just give me a minute okay uh, there is PI utility contributor script and we copied it no I didn't copy it give me one second more I want to apply the same logic I want to see all three here okay uh, script include yes ma yeah it's gr1 dot uh, I want to just <coughs> get into syntax. Let me time. It should give you all these three separated by commas. If my code is correct. One group, second group, third group, separated by comma. You agree, ma? Yes? No? Yeah. Okay, let's say simple thing. Again, we are coming back. You don't have a color field here. Okay. And you have one field called Okay, caller number, customer name, mobile number, you have it. Okay, think about it, ma. Customer phone number, you have it. Okay, and you need to display a message here saying this phone number is the phone number of a VIP or not. If this phone number is a VIP phone number, then you need to display an error box here, gs dot add, add error box. Any error or info message, you want to give it, okay. Now, this is a text field. How you take this field text field value and then how you know whether this user who belongs to this phone number is a VIP or not? Just tell me. You got this particular scenario, ma? Yeah. So, for this one, you need to glide it. Okay, phone number, add, go to this user table, add query, phone number equal to this one. Okay, GR query, if GR next, then get the VIP flag gr dot VIP okay there uh, ah, if there you say if gr dot VIP equal to true you display you just use this scratch pad okay sk fact equal to true okay something like this maybe let me write it you, you are understanding ma okay let me write it yeah. let me write it so this code I already copied it okay something like this okay if they are next okay so if they are next maybe here only you can say okay no need to write this one but I, as a general practice i will write it okay sorry if has next if okay gr dot vip equal to true okay then sk facts equal to true i will say like yes okay else okay i will say no maybe we need to keep in single quotes or double quotes syntax please ignore okay and now where i will use this value okay i will use this value in client script okay maybe on load client script on change client script of uh, what is this customer this one what is that field name in incident form so it is a phone number for us don't confuse okay customer validation is our phone number so customer validation customer validation where is this field my do we have that field what is that field name Cust customer validation i'm in the same time my customer do you see customer validation field here by any chance no okay when I, whenever it is changing okay then what i'm doing here is okay if this one is yes whatever the value i am passing here i am using the same values my here okay if it is yes something like this okay then do you whatever you want to do here in form level okay maybe g form okay 
add error message okay the customer is the phone number is belonging to VIP user yes I'm not I'm just not following the syntaxes okay so I'll just follow it here one second just try let me finish this so in else case nothing you know need to in if only you can do my else you can just ignore it not required okay so why it is showing like this maybe syntax yes doubles it is required double you agree is this syntax is this particular scenario is more clearer yes everyone ma so display business yes. rule maybe see you have call server side call server side data you want to use it and then how you use what you use and all it's all your flexibility you write a script include okay you can you can write a display business tool get this cache pad variable and use it however that and all your scripting skills according to this particular scenario you use it but as display business tools will run always if you want to reduce the load on page maybe try using script include okay, okay. and if you feel like script include is a little difficult to write maybe display business tool simple now see here this is easy and this is also easy your flexibility right everyone agree ma yes 